Good morning. Welcome to my channel. This is Miss JD for a very early episode of our daily stock market insights. It's uh, June 16th and uh, at 6.49 a.m. So we still have time. The market is not open yet. Okay, so I'd like to review uh, some of uh, these uh, stocks. So far, I'll be reviewing AUB, SMPH, MREIT, Bond, Pure Gold, DMC, and TEL. Okay, so let's start with uh, the index. <clears throat> okay, uh, index here, I think, ayun na nga. So, nakailang araw din na uh, I've been mentioning this area to be our uh, support, no? And tingnan nyo ilang beses na siyang 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120, 121, 122, 123, 124, 125, 126, 127, 128, 129, 130, 131, 132, 133, 134, 135, 136, Uh, you had foreign buying that happened yesterday, so good sign yan. So I'm, uh, I'm hoping, I'm anticipating some positive movements today. Diba? Next is AUB. <clears throat> okay, si AUB naman, grabe. Parang nasilip ko ba to in the past na sabi ko ito yung mga may mahahabang wicks. Mga intraday traders talagang magkakapera dito. Um, yeah, but si AUB, medyo it's uh, moving at the uh, short-term resistance. Yeah, nasa resistance level siya. Uh, meron kayo pa isa dito. So, big sabihin yan, uh, ay baka may magsuslow down muna, magpa-profit take muna mga tao. No? And uh, ito, medyo hindi hindi uh, pansinin, pero nag, nag, ano na siya, bearish uh, divergence na siya. So, similar to what I mentioned in the past, ito naman yung uh, kabaliktaran. Kung may bullish divergence, may bearish divergence. Habang ang presyo ay umaakyat at ang RSI mo ay pababa. That means Paakyat ng paakyat, pakonti ng pakonti ang willing maglagay, willing mag-add uh, more to their position kasi they find it a bit expensive na. So, ito, ilang araw siya na nag-attempt mag-break. At the moment, tapos wala ang volume mo, oh, yung liit-liit ng volume. So, big sabihin yan, uh, baka mag, mag-re-reject or elite siya dyan. Konti pa ng trades. So, big sabihin, kung profitable ka na, mag-isip-isip ka na at uh, maybe you lock in your gains or you take profit kung profitable ka na. Pero kung papasok ka, huwag mo na. No? Uh, next is SMPH. I think maganda tong chart ni SMPH. Okay, di ba? Sa SMPH kahapon ay nag-bounce. At uh, ito nga ang kanyang support. Ang support niya is nasa 32.45 and... Uh, compared to the previous days tingnan natin kung aakit ito, yan may volume, onte, di ba? pero, not naman onte. pero tingnan mo may difference yung volume in the past few days kumpara naman today so, ang gusto natin mangyari dyan is may continuation at eventually i-break niya itong MA20 na nasa 33.48 so, uh, don't worry about uh, SMPH at the moment where wherever the price is right, right now napaka napaka gandang position siya actually kasi binigyan tayo ng chance at a cheaper level muntik na siyang mag bottom pa dito no 30.93 pero i doubt kung babalikan niya yan Ta, parang tama na to at uh, if it recovers kasi yung for the past uh, how many years yung Para lang siyang nag, ano eh, range trade yung nangyayari dito. You hold on to it for several weeks, tapos aabutin niya yung, yung resistance level, tsaka babagsak. So, parang dalibasahin ng, ng chart niya. So, alam mo, papasok ka dito, hintay ka ng mga ilang buwan, and then 
take profit ka sa bandang 38. Tingnan natin kung anong mangyayari, magkano yung mahuwa mo. Oh, around 18%. Holding on to it. Kunwari, dito. Hmm. Okay, remove ko muna drawings. Ang ito, from here, ilang days inabot yun? 106 days. Mga 3 months. Almost 3 months, no? So, yeah, hintay ka lang. So, dito, kung papasok ka today, anywhere it is at right now, kasi medyo ando na nga yung start ng mag-pick up ang volume. Today could be a validation day talaga uh, to see if... Uh, my continuation siya or talagang temporary lang ng pag uh, bounce yan pero uh, uh, bullish na rin ako dito kay SMPH may foreign buying ka pa dyan. so that is it um, Emrit si Emrit maganda ang chart niya kahapon eh ayun <clears throat> nasa biyahe ako kahapon was already looking at this sabi ko maganda tong uh, ending nitong Emrit so this is a a break out of the downtrend May downtrend siya nung uh, May 22 hanggang June. ba? So, posibleng, ito na yung bago niyang support. Nag-decline din to eh. So, that means, uh, this is a REIT company. Regular ka makakatanggap ng dividend dito at nabumagsak siya. That means, uh, this is your chance. Oh, ganda. And then, pagbabalik siya eh, nakaupo ka lang if hindi ka pa mag -e exit Continuous ka mababayaran. Ba? Parang, if I'm not mistaken, kung 1.6 siya every quarter, 1.6 times uh, 4. O, nasa 6.4%. Saan ka pa makakakita niyan? Sa bank, hindi mo makukuha yan. Uh, you have foreign buying yesterday. So, magandang uh, i-consider din siya. Right? Tingnan natin ang kanilang revenue. Maganda ang revenue sa first quarter. Mm, pangit yung last year nila. Uh, sige. Weigh things, ha? Tingnan nyo, projects nila. Yan, hindi mo ganun. News, anong mga balita. You check this one out. Okay, so kasi ay, hindi ko na yan cover lahat sa ating presentation. Chart lang ang aking ipaprioritize here. Pero in terms of charting, medyo pa-recover na nga siya. Uh, for the past how many days nag uh, above average na yung volume niya big sabihin mga tao kahit nasa mababang part dito nag accumulate na yung mga yan so uh, kahapon and in fact today I am bullish na may continuation pa to so hanap na lang kayo ng entry uh, mamaya between 424 to 1480 maganda na yan uh, Mond, itong Mond for the past how many days na nire-review ko to bearish tayo pero uh, may nakikita na kung liwanag sa dilim ito tingnan natin to okay tingnan natin alam niyo ito nag uh, double bottom siya dito di ba hit niya to nag recover binalikan ano itsura ng RSI yan di ba packet same is true with this one. Pababa. Ano itsura ng RSI? Packet. So, pwedeng ito'y umpisa na. Umpisa na ng recovery niya. So, try. Pwede kang, if you, if you like the fundamentals of MOND, pwede ka na mag-test by within the area 7.9 to 8.30. Tingnan natin. Ay, May, may earnings siya, pero it was 17% lower than could be previous quarter or previous year. Uh, Q1 earnings kasi to Or baka year on year. Hmm. Pangit yung earnings. So, ingat lang ha. Kung gusto mo talaga itong i-trade just for the purpose of uh, uh, position trading. Yan. Pero in terms of uh, financial health, parang hindi ako believe. So, eh, your call. Pure gold. Ito naman, balansin lang natin para sa mga may holders, mga holders dito. Um, kita nyo to. This is what I was uh, mentioning in some of my videos. 
pag na-start trigger ang lower Bollinger Band, nagtutuloy-tuloy yan. At hindi pa siya tapos. Tinrigger pa niya ng lalo. So, ingat lang, ang nakikita ko dito ay itutuloy pa niya. Abot hanggang 26.62. So, that is uh, the outlook in terms of uh, the chart of uh, pure gold. May foreign selling ka pang nangyayari dyan. So, alam ko you find this already cheap. Pero medyo ingat pa din. May uh, dividend sila noong January 23. Oh, once a year lang sila nagbibigay. So, yun. So, yan. Aba, nasa ano? All-time low ba ang area nito? Mukhang ito yung kanyang all-time low. Balik tayo dito. Ay, hindi pala. On a weekly chart. Pero, bumalik siya sa mga... Uh, early days, no? Binigyan tayo ng chance na uh, makapasok ng mas murang halaga. Dati, ang gaganda ng earnings. Pero, pure gold is, you know, pure gold. Napaka-stable na na uh, kumpanya. Masa yung target audience nito. Or target market nito. So, your call. If you believe in pure gold, seek pure gold buy, uh, uh, magsistay uh, in the next 5-10 years. Kasi, hindi naman forever na babagsak ito. Magre-recover din naman yan. So, that's some, those are the things you have to ask yourself. So, for now, in terms of chart, uh, support niya is nasa 26.62. Uh, next one is the DMC. Ito, you need to also know this. DMC on a weekly chart, we are already, you know, nasa profit-taking mode na. Actually, ang tagal na niyang nasa profit-taking mode since January, February hanggang uh, June na ngayon. Uh, at, uh, two things here. Dapat kung uh, trader ka or position trader ka, nakapag-profit-taken yan. Kasi uh, ang tagal din niyang umakyat. Binigyan ka ng napakahabang time na makapag-decide at uh, maybe na sana nakapag-lock in ka ng gains at ito yung bum- nag-pull back na. So, hindi natin alam. Kasi dito, itong resistance na to na break niya na eh. I mean, ang support na yan, na break na niya. So, hahanap ka ulit ng panibagong support niya. Meron ka dito. The area where it is at right now, kasi because of this, nasa weekly chart ako para mas malinis. Meron ka dito. Area where it landed yesterday, pero tingnan natin kung magbabounce na nga ba. Kaso, medyo on, napaka bearish ako because may foreign selling pa nung ganap. You know, lagi na natin dyan. Yan ang support niya. So, baka mag-sideways siya or babasagin pa niya yan. So, medyo on the... Stay on the sidelines muna dito. So, yun ang aking... Uh, tip sa inyo, stay, I know maganda ang pagbigay ng uh, dividend si DMC uh, but I, I my take on this is that you might be able to get this at a cheaper level ba? So, medyo observe lang. Watch list nyo lang siya muna. Okay? I'm looking at the weekly chart. So, ito yung candlestick na yun. Baka test pa niyang 8.79 at uh, even next week, kung magtuloy-tuloy, baka ituloy pa niya yung, yung downtrend niya. Right? Ganyan itsura niya eh. Oh, ganyan ang itsura niya sa daily chart. Okay. Uh, hasunod is uh, tell. Si tell naman ay, ito, I like the chart of tell kasi slowly but surely ang kanyang uh, move. Yan. So, anywhere dito, 1246 at 1290. Uh, pwede mo na yan i-test. May foreign buying kang nangyari dyan. At uh, paakit na siya. Napakamurang level tayo ngayon. Uh, pinagyan tayo ng chance. 
consistent din itong <coughs> nagbibigay ng dividend. Both Tel and Globe, I really love. Okay, but something's uh, different lang kay Globe because ito nga, medyo binigyan ka ng dalawang araw na significant yung talon pero binawi din ka agad. Two days worth ay automatic 5.9% 5. pero ngayon, two days din na binalikan yung dating support. So, for those people accumulating, accumulate lang kayo guys. Napaka murang level pa. 1,700 level per globe. Yan ang support na, that I see. Volume is starting to pick up dito. Nag, uh, nagkakaroon na ng madaming activity. Yun. So, that is all for uh, this video. Feel free to drop a comment. By the way, may mga nagtanong. At... Yeah, I really love the comments you guys uh, shared here. Medyo may detractor lang tayo ng very light. <laughs> Sabi niyo, walang kwenta, hindi ka naman nagbibigay ng, nagbigay ng stock analysis. So, I'm not sure what you're expecting here. But, yeah, this is the type of uh, analysis I give out. If you find value to it, eh, you're very welcome here. But, kung hindi... Uh, go find another video that can help you, you know. Uh, this one, sir, uh, North-South Line, uh, Miss JD Forex po. I can analyze chart of the Forex, pero kasi hindi talaga ako very active sa Forex. I know um, sa Forex kasi ang, nag, you use leverage there. So, konting galaw on the upside, people can take profit. So, kung ibibigyan ko yan ng, ng charting, baka ma-over ko naman plot at uh, medyo ma-compromise ma, ma, ma ang mga leverage nyo. At uh, yun, I will not be able to do that. Uh, stocks lang muna tayo. Crypto, I can too. Because I am also exposed sa crypto. At um, medyo naiintindihan ko yung kanila movement. Very, very extreme. Sabi ko nga dito. Kasi si si our friend here sabi niya nakapasok siya kay AXS 400 level parang nasa ewan ko 9 dollars ba 9 yun magkano yung 400 na yan um bumulusok okay so uh the same method or uh principle that i use ang pagkat loss ay kailangan natin yan very important para it can manage we can manage our losses or risk Pero kapag ikaw, hindi mo na exit sa tamang oras, sa tamang halaga, at kumuwari, nag-drop siya ng 50%, realistically speaking, gusto bibitawan mo pa ba yan? Or maghihintay ka na lang? The beauty of, uh, to begin with, sa pagpasok mo with the amount na, you know, you're willing to risk overall, at least makakatulog ka sa gabi. Kahit mag 50% man yan, kahit mag 60% down man yan. Because to begin with, yung sizing ng exposure mo, medyo ando na, you managed it. Kasi once you exit mo yan at 40, 50, 60% negative ka na, sure ball na yan. So, may reply here, uh, sa akin, pag biglang laki ng bagsak at hindi ako naka-exit sa tamang oras, painful man, hinayaan ko na lang muna dyan, sit there. Kasi minsan, kasi may mga eksena sa crypto na extreme mag bull run. Malay mo, isa dalawang araw, mag 200x yan. Mag, uh, may mga ganun eh. At um, what you can do now is, it yung AXS mo, i-stake mo yan. Similar to dividend investing, ang AXS, ang AXI. My platform sila where you can stake. At the moment, pag ang AXS is stake mo, nasa 36%, um, potential mong makukuha in, in one year mong ilalagay dyan. And you, every day, you can you can take out money. You can um, uh, secure that uh, gain. Kasi every day naman nagka-calculate yan eh. So, yun yung... Uh, kaya, kaya ako may nakapin dito. See that? May nakapin din ako dito. Kasi nagpa-farm din ako. Uh, yeah, so, so, ANS, I already did that. Thank you, everyone, uh, sa mga, uh, ayun, AUB. Yan, I, I prioritize your request, sir. Yan. Thank you, Raymond. I like the comment of uh, Raymond here. 
Um, basahin niyo to guys. May magandang input siya dito. And uh, I, I highly encourage everyone kasi I know you are very uh, much into the stock market. Kayo lahat, I know. Sa mga bawat stocks na eh, pinapasukan nyo, inaaral nyo sila. May mga eh, uh, daily updates kayo sa kanila. Pasok nyo dito para kung sino man makapanood kay Miss JD, nagbabasa yan for sure sa comments at you they can learn from you guys. Kasi hindi lahat-lahat mang uh, ma mabibigay ni Miss JD. Prayo lang natin yung ating chart. Okay? In the meantime, today is Friday. Could be a profit-taking day in some of the stocks. Kaya medyo ingat lang. Thank you and have a great morning everyone. Bye-bye.